Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning, students. <laughs> Time for another beautiful day. Yeah, I'm excited. I um, someone from Game Grumps Inc. dropped off a Monokuma onesie to my house, and uh, I'm gonna wear this all the time. Yeah, definitely. Mine's still at the office. I wear it during important meetings. Um, yes. <laughs> particularly with outside people <laughs> that have no idea. What's yeah. Good? Oh, Aaron, Aaron from Game Grumps, eh? Uh, what's your company do? And just smash cut to me in the fucking... <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, didn't think I'd be talking on this call. They're not familiar with Danganronpa at all. <laughs> yeah. So some kind of, some kind of, like, cookie teddy bear? <laughs> hold, hold, please. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that's better. Okay. Let's what are we doing today, Aaron? Well, we've got a uh, very special compilation uh, that we're gonna watch. Uh, it involves um, all of the fake band names that we have ever either come up with or were like star bomb fake songs or just just that sort of topic of just like coming up with fake names of songs or bands. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why that um, took me a good 30 seconds to get out when it was the easiest tweet worthy concept. No problem. Also, uh, Space Bear did something. Yes. There is some special little interludes that we will discover as we go. I love it. Also, uh, Space Bear, you probably know them from the internet as Sebas Bear. <laughs> like, <laughs> It certainly took me a hot minute to know that their name was pronounced Space Bear, but I think I think there was definitely like a good several months where we were like, it's it's Spaz Bear is it's coming gotta out be. of Spaz. What else could it be? <laughs> and then and then he, I think he emailed us directly. It was like it's pronounced Space Bear. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're br they're brilliant musicians. Yeah, I I really like them. Um. All right, let's do this. Okay. Awesome. Brian and I are starting to work on songs for the fourth Ninja Sex Party album. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, trying so to- So stoked! Yeah, but don't get excited, that shit is- We haven't written one word for it yet. Shit is many moons away. Well, I trust your ability to write music. How nice of you. So, I'm stoked. Well, we were talking about this off-camera, but like, it was just funny how like, you've kind of offhandedly, unintentionally, like, created songs for us. Because you were saying like, yeah, you should probably write a song that the internet would love. You know, some stupid shit like fucking unicorn wizard, <laughs> and, and like, and like, I think Susie was like, "Yeah, that's that's dumb," and I was like, "Unicorn wizard, <laughs> awesome." <laughs> so yeah, a lot of stuff happens like that because there's no idea too stupid for Ninja Sex Party to oh, write a song yeah. about. So with the the way Brian and I like get ideas going sometimes is that we'll just like write down like 70 song titles each and just send them to each other and like uh if one jumps out like oh that would make a cool song like the other one will say like yeah th these are the ones i like and then sometimes we'll write a song that's how uh dragon slayer why i cry let's get this terrible party started like those were all from this like exercise that we do mm. so i found like an archive of old shit that we had rejected mm -hmm. it is Beyond terrible. <laughs> um, let me share some of these. Yeah, I gotta hear them. Um, I mean, there's tons, like, just like, hugs, one-man biker gang, like, shit like that. Uh, but, rock all night, fish all day. Ah, <laughs> 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 yes! <laughs> so great. Is that the smash cut between <laughs> between the rocket the, the, the day and then the night? Uh, yeah, I want to see. I want to see the music video for that. Yeah, I, I want it to be very frantic and then very relaxing. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's so Rock good. Rock all night, fish all day. <laughs> Uh, that's exciting. Yeah. Surfing for puss okay. and the tide is high. <laughs> How, are <laughs> <laughs> How are these rejected? Well, cause like, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll make you laugh, but like, th then you try writing a song and beyond the song title, there's just nothing there, yeah, you know? Okay. Like, um, you can tell by my swell. 
Uh, oh, here's one I liked. Uncle Carl's Garage Basement Ultimate Thumb Wrestling Championship <laughs> Final Match Edition. <laughs> Final Match Edition. That's so Journey good. Planet Butchelon. Uh, did I fucking say you could stop partying? <laughs> <laughs> the picture. <laughs> That's so wow, good. <laughs> I love it. I I love this. I was not informed. Uh, I just knew that we were doing a compilation today. I was I was not informed what it would be, what the structure would be, yeah. or that this was a thing. Um, I I love this already. Yeah. Uh, it's it's interesting. Did I? Did I fucking say you could stop partying turned into Rock Party USA, which then became everybody shut up. I have an erection. Wait, is that oh. is that right? Is that possible? That's a Am pretty I, big I'm, leap. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like they all they all become different things. Like when you when you sit down and try to write it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Not uh, not the erection song. Uh, it became Mansion Party. Oh, um, OK. Yeah. So. It, that that's it, it's interesting to hear like where because that had to be 2016 if we hadn't written anything for the fourth nsp album which yeah. became cool patrol um mm. so yeah cool patrol danny don't you know like a lot of our best known stuff came from that album so it's weird to think that like you know it's weird to hear that conversation from a time before um any of that stuff was even yeah where you're feeling all trepidatious about it and like oh i don't know it's probably not gonna be good but <laughs> dude that is every every time we sit down to write an album we're like mm -hmm. we're we're out of ideas we're fucking hacks we can't yeah. like you just think the notebooks are empty and it won't come but then fortunately like so far it, it's always been there I really wish that 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 song really did become uh everybody shut up i have an erection cuz <laughs> that that leap of just like the creation process of like we have a song all right let's turn it into this song all right what if we wrote a song that was completely different it had nothing to do with this song yeah but it evolved <laughs> yeah. from this song <laughs> it's how it goes man i'm sure you've like started on art pieces or or um early internet videos where it just keeps changing and changing as you work on it and then you're like well now the new changes are so good i guess i better like change the original stuff so it matches and and mm. by the end it's just a completely different thing yeah sometimes you like draw an arm up here and then you want it like over here mm -hmm. yeah exactly thank you yeah it's the same that's thing that's what i was talking about yeah <laughs> let's move on <laughs> see what's next is that what tom cruise does yeah he ate the placenta dude. oh cool yeah he you know a, what? He ate a placenta meter. <laughs> placenta meter. <laughs> that was another one of yeah. Brian's uh, band name suggestions. Yeah. Placenta meter. Along with Whitney Houston, we have a problem. And wet. <laughs> and wet. And nope. This is nope. for Starbomb. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. We were trying to come up with band names, and Ninja Brian wrote out like 70, all of which were completely unusable. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, oh, wow, extra credit. He did 70. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then we looked at the list. I was like, list. man, I'm behind my game. Yeah. We looked at the list. We were like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I think that the I think the only good one was probably like a thousand, ten thousand years into the future or something like that. Oh, that was kind of cool. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, shine. Welcome to Smush Grumps. Yeah. My name is George. Smush this Grumps. is Lairs. Sm Wait, what was the name of? We were trying to write. All right. So Ninja Sex Party has this song we've been trying to write for fucking like four years now. Uh, and it's about Ninja Sex Party's rival clan, Samurai Abstinence Patrol. Right. And uh, one of the things was like what you just said. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Shit. Um, yeah, we were trying to come up with like other names for those clans. Mm, I can't find it. I want to. I want to know. Yeah, me too. You better tell me. Damn it. I'm dying. Oh no. I'm dying to know. Smush police. <laughs> <The> smush <laughs> police. Smush police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smush Police is a great name for for a band. Depending on your definition of great, absolutely. <laughs> the, yeah, gosh. It, you can tell you can tell man. God, we've been doing this a long time. The cuz the Super Mario Sunshine, yeah, Starbomb hadn't even been named yet cuz that must have been 2013. Um wow. you can tell we're we're still 
we're still in the phase of recording where there was one mic in the center of the room and we were, you mm -hmm. know, um, we didn't, we didn't have our own mics yet. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy that three albums and what, seven years later, seven plus years later, um, start uh, there, there was a time when Starbomb wasn't even like conceived of, uh, yeah. Because now so I can't of... separate those songs from like that blue, pink, and magenta the um, logo. Yeah, logo that you came up with and that that uh aesthetic as as the kids say these days. <laughs> hey man, you gotta you gotta start somewhere. That's that's what that's what I've always found interesting about like Game Grumps and Star Bomb and stuff is like when you just have an idea and you have like cause I draw and I can design logos and stuff like that it's not amazing but it's like i can do it so just do it and then eventually you know it's like we have a new game grumps logo that was designed by a professional logo designer but it's like it still harkens back to the old one so that that's it's it's weird to think about like the first star bomb logo was something that like was just so boots on the ground um it's, it's really really fun to think about how it's evolved since then yeah well, as someone who has no visual artistic ability whatsoever, Starbomb logo looked good to me, man. I guess I should just be on top of it when I drop it. Yeah. On top when I drop. Top when you drop. That's the new reality show on oh. Madonna's channel. That was another uh, name for a song we never did that Brian wanted to do. Uh, I pop when you hop on top. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Seuss book? That's just a title that it just needs to exist on its own. I know. I it know. doesn't need a song attached to it. Exactly. That's exactly the problem. It's one of those. It's one of those things where it's like one of those fake commercials where it's like, and now the greatest hits. Yeah. I pop I when you hop on top. <laughs> <laughs> like something they do on Who's Line. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like in Who's Line when um, he uh, he was the reporter or no the newscaster and he was like. Hi, I'm packed nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that where you got whenever you use that on Game Grumps? Yeah, G Greg Proops from uh that that was his, that was the name of his news reporter character. That I lo that killed me the first time I heard it. Holy shit. Um, yeah, that's that's I mean, I was about to be like, you don't remember me bringing that up in Wind Waker which we played 8 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> The one where I couldn't press A or whatever. Is that is that what happened? <laughs> that was like the that was like the part where I, I wouldn't press A. Or I, I it, it was saying it on the screen and I was like, what do I do? And it was like on the screen. We've had so many freaking train wrecks <laughs> throughout the years. I can't gameplay train wrecks. I I can't oh. I can't keep them all straight. Man, could you imagine revisiting Wind Waker? That would be wild. You know, uh, Wind Waker and Mario Sunshine, just looking at them, I'm like, God, I love the way these two games look. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they're both from 2002, right? <laughs> you and years, man. I don't know. They're from I, when we played them and also before that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry. I just, I, rem I, I seem to remember them being from the same like summer of my life. That, that makes sense. I mean, it's GameCube. It, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just love the way they look. Uh, except the Wind Waker we played was a restored version, right? Yeah, the HD remaster. Hell, hell yeah! <laughs> Don't need S video anymore. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so I can't open up the story of my life. And just <laughs> fucking go to page seven hundred and thirty-eight and think you know me. I. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I've definitely Googled weird butt stuff more than like two or three times <laughs> because Brian and I were gonna write a song called that. And we were like, whoa! And you're not anymore. Uh probably not. Oh, Just chill because out, chill out. Is, oh. Uh, awkward. Wow, nice. Yeah, you say tomato, I say what are you doing in my house? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you masturbate, an angel gets its thing. <laughs> <laughs> an angel gets its thing. That's so, like what the fuck were we thinking? Uh, I bet I can eat more pancakes than you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I still think These we should are write not that. Song titles. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> that's pretty. I know that's pretty good. 
Uh, I listened to that song. Feel the beat, and then in parentheses, we ripped off from a more successful artist. <laughs> yes! <laughs> It's so close. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh man. You gotta sample something like really oh, old. Man. Yeah. <laughs> but this is this is Brian's. Public masturbation is so much fun, it should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> He loves the long Brian. song titles. Oh, oh, I think that's it. You can always count on Bry to go a little too far. He always, always. <laughs> he he always like does the fucking like way too long titles. <laughs> like um, there, there it there's is. There's nothing wrong with making an honest living by selling illegal drugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the parentheses ones. Like, uh, I mean, that's basically his Twitter post. Yeah, exa exactly, exactly. <laughs> Just um, puts them into song titles. Oh, fucking rock the night, and then in parentheses or day, depending on your availability. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a good, a good one. I, feel I, like that could be I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. Apparently, past me thought um, so too. What if your whole life was a play, a really stupid fucking play? <laughs> Is that the name of the song? Yeah. <laughs> Stinkle McTinkles. Oh, that's good. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a classic. Climbing the ladder of success up to the roof of butt sex. <laughs> that's all Brian. All Brian. Of course. No question. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who else but Brian with the butt sex? Things will never be the same. And then in parentheses, I've applied too much ketchup to this hamburger. <laughs> Still my favorite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. It finally has music. <laughs> oh. This is exactly God. the type of thing we would have done with it. Yes. Like a very, very moody. So somber. Cinematic. It's truly Gorgeous. beautiful. <laughs> so good. This is really fun. I'm enjoying yeah, this a lot. Th this is a good time. I was kind of hoping maybe there would be like a... Like a like a just like a losing your mind sort of like interlude of just like ah, like it just gets really hard near the end. Yeah, it's so it's so weird to hear this because when did we play Katamari? It had to be like five years ago, like a long ass time ago. Yeah, and um, we tried to write uh, um. What was it? Oh shit! It was just brought up. Oh, uh, rock the night or day, depending on your availability. Mm -hmm. We've tried to write that song no less than four or five times, and it just no never, never happens for us. Wow, that's interesting. Hey, someday, yeah. someday it'll turn into I everybody shut up. I have an erection. <laughs> you never know, man. Usually, the ones I, I found the the best songs at least from our own songwriting experience are the ones that just come out of nowhere and they're mm -hmm. just there you know um generally the ones where we we have to grind like to really make it work and um we labor over it for a long time generally those don't you know measure up over time in, in my opinion yeah. um and may maybe you know things are just meant to be a certain way you know I think we were talking about this on another episode of Game Grumps, but like that's so true of most artists when it's just like the the weird, passionate, like, I have an idea, I I'm just going to do it. Those usually end up being like the things that really travel because there's just so much energy in them. There's so much like electricity. Um, and it, it, there's there's always that thing on like on Twitter or whatever where it's like, oh, the thing I shat out in an hour got went viral and the thing i was working on for 10 years you know nobody saw it because mm -hmm. it's like it's so true it's just like those concepts are so electric like people just want to be a part of those kinds of concepts yeah it speaks to the possibility that um the and and i always feel like such a hippie when i when i say stuff like this but a lot of artists feel this way uh, a lot of famous artists that you know you might love their uh, books or uh, movies or music. Th they kind of feel like this stuff is just out there in the ether mm -hmm. and we just channel it, you know, like we're, we're not really writing 
the the stuff that we write it it, it just um kind of works its way through us and uh i don't know i think it's an interesting concept and it kind of takes the pressure off a little bit you know mm -hmm. I, that's so true <laughs> th there mitch hedberg used to say that and for anyone who doesn't know mitch hedberg h-e-d-b-e-r-g uh i strongly recommend you check out his comedy he was just brilliant so funny and and a really like out there kind of comedian i'm sure i've said this on game grumps before and his idea of his ideas were so left of center that people didn't really know how he came up with them that was a question he would get a lot and he said uh well the creative process for me isn't so much uh i'll, I'll just be in a hotel room and i'll kind of relax and just sit there with a coke and maybe an orange and just try to chill out and let stuff come to me you know he was he was like the he he said that essentially like these jokes are just floating out there and he's like it's not it's not so much sitting down to write jokes as it is putting yourself in a relaxed mental state where you can catch jokes more easily mm -hmm. and yeah. uh yeah i thought that was really interesting and to a degree, I've experienced it myself. I think it's important to allow yourself to to see that aspect of it too. I remember I would have dreams all the time of like characters or or jokes or like a concept for something or whatever, and I just wouldn't I wouldn't use them because they didn't feel like they were mine. Um, you know, when I yeah. come up with stuff, it was, it'd be like, it'd be in the moment and I'm awake, but if I'm asleep, it's like, it's not really my, cause I hadn't put effort into coming up with it. So can I really claim it? But it's like, yes, if, first of all, it's yours. Cause it's in your head. Yeah. And second of all, it's like, who cares? Like, it's just a good concept and, you know, execute. on Ab it. Absolutely. And it, it's, it's a good, it's a good way to keep your ego in check, you know, cause you'll never think like I am a genius, you know, mm -hmm. it's just like, well, you know, I was just sitting there and this thing got whispered to me and then I wrote it down, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's, I, it's a cool way to look at it. I like that a lot. Wow. This was... Yeah, this got, uh, this got unexpectedly deep. <laughs> All right, moving on to the jokes. Cool. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> I fucking love doing this. I think uh, parenthetical song titles are my favorite thing ever. Th they are very funny. They are very funny. Like, <laughs> I just, that's what happened when we were trying to name all the Starbomb songs, the, fir the first album. It was just like, there was just too many, like, Oh, yeah. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. And then we realized we had to put, like, the, the video game that we were, like, referencing in parentheses. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> there were, like, double parentheses situations. <laughs> no one needs that. No, nobody needs dual parentheses. I like, I like song titles where, like, like the thing in parentheses has fucking nothing to do with anything in oh, the yeah. song. Like it's such a douchey move. <laughs> like tonight we're gonna rock. My shoes are untied. Yeah, like the fucking oh god, what's a good example? And I don't hate this band, but um Our Lady Peace had a song called Right Behind You, and then in parentheses, yeah. Mafia. <laughs> what the fuck kind of All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. Was the mafia right behind them? I have them? no idea. They, they I believe they mentioned no such thing in the song. Okay. Do, do people in fucking werewolf costumes come out and beat the shit out of you? No. Cuz well, that's what I'd want. There are some that are like horror themed. I think Barry did one where there was like a zombie in the room Ooh. and he like kills you if he touches you. Quote unquote kills you. <laughs> right. He just gives you a straight up hand job. Yeah, he's <laughs> He's just like, you're dead now. Dude, by the way, another NSP song title that Brian has been trying to write this song for years and we can't do it. Fuck. Uh, zombie hand job. <laughs> Z Zam job? Zam job. <laughs> Zand job. Zand job. It's. Try writing that song. It's not fucking easy. Uh. It was originally going to be like a monster mash, like, zombie hand job. <laughs> but like, it actually ended up. Like our traces of ideas for that ended up being Crashervania. No. Crashervania, that's right. Really? That's yeah. right. I mean, so th that shows you how long we've been trying to work on this. Jesus. Yeah. Some ideas just like are funny in a vacuum, but like really hard to turn into songs. Huh. That's interesting. I um. <laughs> I bet you could. The, the only ideas I can come up with are that like a 
song about the zombie apocalypse or something, but then, like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on over well, here? I don't, what is that? I have no idea where any of these red coins are. Yeah, I see that. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Tell you about a zombie handjob? Story right. of my life. So, the only idea I can come up with is that the zombie handjob will be the punchline, so it, the fact that it's named zombie handjob will be a giveaway. Ah. Uh. Be all like dramatic about like a zombie apocalypse, and then it's just like you just grab a hand. Oh, that's actually really funny. Like, yeah. we're so scared of like the fucking end of the world <laughs> that like <laughs> it just turns out to all be about one gross, slow, undead hand job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boy, again. In a vacuum, making us laugh. <laughs> Got a yeah, funny feeling this, once we this, sit down to write the song. This, this is true. Might not work. Very true. Ugh. Dude, <laughs> motherfucking... Jesse Eisenberg. Have you seen zombie porn? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> what? What? Just, just, like, cut right at the end. Dude. Have you seen zombie porn? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it oh. just cuts to something else. I was, I was too busy... I was too busy making fun of... I just hear you say motherfucking. I can't ever hear you say motherfucking with a pause without thinking Jesse Eisenberg, man. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the time. Put it in the time. Oh, yeah, man. geez. Zombie hand job. That's another one that uh, will probably never happen. But yeah, it, it was a song about a guy who's like in a graveyard and he falls <laughs> face first on, uh, onto the dirt and then like oh, the, hand the hand comes like, up. Comes <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be our Halloween song, but we just, it just, it was so not funny when we tried to write it every time. <laughs> hey, Jeez. Found that you said then the zombie hand came up. <laughs> zombie <great>. hand job! <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. It's the dude from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> How did I end up in this game? We hang shitty games. Aww. Oh, yeah, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> I said it. Assassin's Creed. Oh, damn! Yeah. You can see him a little better up there. Oh, yeah. He's gonna start shooting sometime. I think we've told that story, that, like, we were gonna try to write an Assassin's Creed song for Star Bomb 2, but the best idea we had was that, like, someone pronounces it Assassin's Creed. And Which, eventually... to be fair... Yeah. Yeah, is that's the best <laughs> an amazing song. <laughs> when you see the moon low in the sky, the extra air between you and the moon makes the moon look reddish. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There you go. That's simple. Alright, cool. Now I know a thing. Yeah. Also, the moon illusion. What's that? That's one of my favorite. When the moon looks bigger, when it's near the ground. The moon illusion is a great name for a band. <laughs> it is. Oh. <laughs> nice. Bigger by comparison. <laughs> Absolutely, a song that the moon illusion would write. Oh, no doubt. The rubber gloves are off putting. <laughs> Just want to put, a, put on a poncho and drink some wine. How y'all doing out there tonight? <laughs> I just, I just like want just, to comment. I, I just feel like bar mitzvah DJ. That, that has to be like. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> Y'all having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoying your non-alcoholic cocktails? <laughs> um, but it's funny because we actually did put the Assassin's Creed joke in a Starbomb song finally. In the... <laughs> In the Not surprisingly, in, in the song about rejected song titles that sucked. <laughs> so many of those, I, people need to understand, were on our list of song ideas to make a yes. song about. Yes. Uh, there but were only a couple who... that were made up just for the song. Yes. If you don't know what we're talking about, on the third Starbomb album, the third and probably final Starbomb album, um, the last song is called This Song Sucks. <laughs> and we decided, like, let's just empty the notebooks completely and make a song out of all the garbage that did not, like, did not connect in the seven years we were uh, coming up with ideas for it. And uh, it turned out to be a really fun song at the end. So yeah. that made me feel and really good. I was like, this is, this ties everything in a nice bow. And also, I believe there were a lot of concepts that didn't even make the song <laughs> that were just like too bad or didn't fit the rhyme scheme or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> concepts that sucked so hard they couldn't make it into the song called This Song Sucks. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Hey, wait, what does it say? So when you see the moon like rise mm -hmm. against like a, a landscape or something, mm -hmm. it looks huge. Right. But it's actually totally just the same size it is when it's in this when it's like high in the sky. Really? Yeah. Show me and that'll be the last thing we'll do. Cause I got chicken nuggets coming here, <laughs> delivery style. And I ain't got time for the creep the fucking hellions. So excited. So excited for your chicken nugs, bro. I'm pumped for those nugs. Oh, so many fucking nugs, bro. Whoa, I think we just figured out the new Ninja Sex Party album title. Pumped for those nugs. Pumped for nugs. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Attitude City wasn't supposed to be the original name of yeah, the remember third that. album. I, I was actually there when you were like, maybe we should make it the album title. Yeah. We were originally gonna call it New Holes. And like <laughs> <laughs> that was Brian. <laughs> well, Brian. Like, have the picture be like right. Brian and I in astronaut costumes over the moon. Fuck you, you're out of here. You're fucking yeah! out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Aaron. Woo! Great job. You did it. Oh. Now we can continue with the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give up. Much like uh, one of uh, one of Ninja Brian's rejected Ninja Sex Party song titles. I always believed in your tits. <laughs> It's a good. It's a good title. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not quite good enough to. <laughs> it's not clever. <laughs> it's not at all. I wonder if I. Good nonetheless. Oh my God, Aaron. Either you're on fire today. <laughs> or. Or you're literally on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was another song title. Rejected Ninja Sex Party song title. What? I'm literally on fire. <laughs> 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 I love uh, that one. That might have been so my good. favorite song. <laughs> Can we just... I, I, I completely forgot that we did this, and I'm so glad that I was reminded of it right now. For the Kirby's Epic Yarn playthrough, it was back when we didn't change the thumbnail between, epi between episodes. The whole series had one uniform thumbnail, and then the number changed. But for Kirby's Epic Yarn, we gradually made the Kirby bigger. <laughs> Yes, I remember. <laughs> Throughout the thumbnails. And uh, at, at one point, I think it just filled the entire screen. And I think it started yeah. getting red, like like as if like it was like a horror movie. <laughs> that was a wonderful playthrough. It was really so fun. Much fun. That's, I, I've been pulling the strings. <laughs> By the way, we need to refill the water cooler. <laughs> yeah, it's a little gamey in there. Uh, yeah, it's got like goldfish swimming in it. <laughs> Oh my god, put I would the goldfish love that. in the water cooler. Ugh. I would adore that. Goldfish water cooler? Yeah. Goldfish water cooler. <laughs> yeah. What an awesome name for a band. We are goldfish water cooler! One, two, three, Whoa. Hey. Oh my god, dude. Sip it good, sip it good. I'm gonna sip that piss, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, baby, it smells like shit. <laughs> it, really? <laughs> That, that sh you should see a doctor. It smells like piss. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, shit is just a general... Oh. Yeah. Mm. Sure. So. That reminds me of another unused uh, song title of Ninja Sex Parties, mm -hmm. which is one of Brian's favorites. Your ass smells like tits, and then in parentheses, and your tits smell like ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, really, Brian? Are you sure about that one? And he's like, I 100% stand behind this. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would. I'm 100% standing behind this. <laughs> yeah, Brian. He comes up with the- he comes up with the winners. Yeah, Who's, boy. Whose idea was eating food in the shower? Eating food in the shower was- That was him, I think. Brian- Brian wrote the- the song- the title. Yeah. And then I wrote the lyrics. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. It is good. It is yeah. very good. I have a lot of trouble, um... This is why I'm better at, like, um... Musical improv than regular improv because like when I have something to work with then I'm I'm good to go But like if I have to start with nothing, it's it's super hard for me. Oh, so, sure. So mm. like with with songwriting It's usually Brian's titles that end up getting used and then um, And then I run with them not episode, but the name of this level is when it rains it pours. Oh, I thought you were gonna name it Oh could name it <laughs> we could name it a, an unused NSP song title. Okay, go for it. Uh, how about, um, what, what's one recently? Oh, oh that one. uh, ABC123, tee hee hee. 
Okay. Yeah, alright. How, how, how do you even write that song? I, we don't know. <laughs> yeah! Tee hee hee. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, I don't know, it was great. This is very surreal, actually, to see someone turn these into music. Because that <laughs> song title has just been an empty title for forever. Yeah. Um, boy. Thanks, Space Bear. Making dreams yeah, come true over here. It's really, really genius work with it. Hey, man, he's just like you. He just needs something to start from, and then he can musical improv it, right? Well, it's two guys. Really? Yeah. The Space oh, and shit. the Bear. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, th I think? Wait. Now I wonder. I've never seen their faces. No, I, I think it is. I think it is two guys. I've only seen the guitar. <laughs> yeah, but their hands look different. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be two guys. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That's like that's like my new song, which apparently is a song written by our friends Jack and Dean. That I didn't even know about. So cancel that song I was gonna write. Which song? But my song was called "I Like Fucking Bitches" in parentheses. But only with their consent. <laughs> Is that a Jackie Dean song? Uh, apparently, they wrote a song that's extremely similar to that. Those so. guys are fucking really funny and awesome. Yeah, that's that reminds me of uh, the Brian uh, NSP idea that we've never been able to work, which is. Uh, Rock the night, and then in parentheses, or day, depending on your availability. <laughs> See? Wow. It's like two years later, we're still Echo talking about it. So you can help me up here, so I can help you get barrels. This is, this is, this is me helping you, helping me, helping you. It's really the meta of this. Me helping you, watching me humping you? <laughs> Isn't that an NSP song? It's, it's a song that Brian wanted to write a thousand times. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not funny. And he's like, it's super funny. And then he'll bring it up in front of a group of people and no one laughs, and he's like, fuck you, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, me? Me, I think it's me wanting you watching me humping you. That's right. I think that's it. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just, even the way you said that. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, it's just tepid it's response. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sh sure, it's okay. Oh wow, that was it. Oh sweet. Dude, a lot of gems in there. A lot of gems yeah. that n never need to get turned into actual songs. Yeah, but w if you at home want to turn them into actual songs, why don't you tweet them at us? Yeah, and, by and we'll all means. Take a look at them. Yeah, it, that those song titles are a freaking wasteland for us. So uh, <laughs> have at it by all means. <laughs> um, and and thank you to Space Bear for for bringing some of our dumbest ideas to life. We still might try to write things will never be the same. I've applied too much ketchup to this hamburger. That's so that's, funny. That, that's the only one I I feel in my heart. There yeah. there might be something there. That is a good one. Um, I'm very much looking forward to that song. And if you need a rap part, you let me know. Because I also am in a band. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're called Starbomb. They sound stupid. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll see you. We'll see you all next time. Yeah. On this, uh, the, the compilations. Boom! Goodbye! <laughs>